Welcome back. Now, before we take a look at the day's business news, let's first take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. And in our top business story, Empower has announced a 5.2% rise in peak consumption for the month of July this year, which according to experts is extremely encouraging as it reflects a return to recovery in commercial areas of Dubai. The figures show that total consumption stood at 83.4 million refrigeration tonnes per hour, compared with 79.3 million for the same month back in 2012. Ahmad bin Shafar, the CEO of Empower, attributes the growth to three key drivers. An increase in occupancy in residential areas, such as Jumeirah Beach Residence, al Kale Gate, Garoub Murdiff and Tcom C, which led to an increase of 4.5% in district cooling consumption. An increase in the number of new buildings that receive Empower's service in Business Bay and the increase in occupancy in commercial buildings, which led to a 7.4% increase in district cooling consumption. Consumer lending rose to its highest level in June this year as personal loans to residents increased by 3.8 billion dirhams. That's according to data from the UAE Central Bank. According to a local daily, the amount was the largest in three years recorded by the central bank. It added that total personal lending has risen by 15.3 billion dirhams so far this year. Experts say that this boost is off the back of increased consumer confidence in line with an improved economy. Officials from Emirates MBD also revealed that credit card and debit card spending among their customer base had increased by around 25% compared with a year ago. The tourism development and investment company in the capital have sold a 91,000 square metre plot of land on Sadiat Island to Bin Otaiba Investment Group for the development of a five-star luxury resort. According to news agency WAM, the hotel is scheduled to open on the Sadiat Beach District in 2015 and will boast 366 rooms, luxury beach villas, restaurants, conference facilities, a unique sand-bottomed swimming pool, gardens and various leisure facilities. Khalaf bin Ahmad al Otaba, the chairman of bin Otaba Investment Group, was quoted as saying that Sadiat Island is a promising destination and a great opportunity that suits their business model. Bin Otaiba Investment Group's portfolio includes the Hilton Sharjah, the Embassy Suites Hotel in Sharjah, and the Millennium Hotel Abu Dhabi, and is currently in the final stage of appointing a well renowned operator for the new project. According to officials, the new development will also follow strict compliance with TDIC's high standards of construction and design guidelines in order to ensure the ecosystem remains intact, with particular attention towards the TDIC's Turtle Conservation Programme. 49% of consumers here in the UAE are willing to pay extra on products from socially responsible companies or brands. That's according to Nielsen's August 2013 report under the title of Consumers Who Care. According to the survey, consumers are increasingly demanding transparency. While the concept of social impact is stronger among consumers in the UAE than in Europe and the United States, it is a trend that is common worldwide. 50% of more than 29,000 online respondents in 58 countries said they would be willing to pay more for goods and services of companies that give back to society. Conscientious consumers are growing globally, with increasing demand for fair trade and sweat-free in clothing and other products. Global management consultancy firm Accenture says emerging markets in particular 
are becoming more sensitive to the impact of consumption, with 64% considering environmental effects before spending. It also showed that younger respondents under the age of 30 are more likely to support socially conscious firms, while 50% of the middle-aged respondents are shifting their buying attitude, an improvement from 38% two years ago.